It's been like forever, I feel, since I've done one of these reactions. Mainly because like not much has happened direct lies for a little while. I usually don't do reactions to the early morning directs because everyone's asleep, but right now everyone's not asleep. And it wasn't my fault this time. <sighs> Eight minutes till the direct starts by time. What am I hoping for? Fire Emblem? Advance Wars? Maybe, uh... If we want to get more fantastical here, maybe a new Kid Icarus game? Ah, well, I wasn't wishing for that. I'd like a pony, too. What how are the I see someone in Twitch chat saying, well, not Twitch chat, just normal chat saying, just dance 2023. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I agree completely. Water doesn't have a taste. Well, if it tastes like that, maybe he just stopped backwashing so damn much. Been well established, you have a drinking problem. Hang out in the uh, Discord call, seeing if any of the other uh, guys are around to react to the call with me. <coughs> if not, uh, well, every single streamer around is reacting to it. I wonder if I'll ever end up in one of those, like, reaction compilations. I suppose I need something to properly lose my mind over. Let me tell you, if there's like a new Kid Icarus game, you'll have that reaction from me. No point in refreshing it, I just felt like doing it. Nice to see the started streaming time go up. Also someone said make Mortal Kombat 12. Wrong company, but I do agree we are in need of one. Mortal Kombat 11 was released quite a while ago. What are you hoping for for the new directs? Cool Same. Actually, I'm hoping for Pokemon. But, like, I'm not hyped for Scarlet and Violet. I'm not. 
Scarlet and Violet is like an interesting case to me, at the very least. I don't know. I have kind of been a bit jaded by the modern Pokemon game. I mean, I still like them. It's just like... I don't think three games in the span of three years is good. Because that very much so sounds like the stance that uh, Madden and Call of Duty take. And we all know how good those games are, eh? I feel that if a game takes uh, less than a year to uh, make fully, it's missing things. <clears throat> to be fair, even a game made in like a couple of years to be missing things, look at Fire Emblem Three Houses. Well, someone in chat going, please no anime. Ah, I see you fear that what you do not understand. But you know, anime will always come for chat, whether you like it or not. Reminds me, like, around the time the Sora event, or the Sora Smash reveal was, was the same time as the uh, Imperial event in Azure Lane, and I saw, like, a uh, letter of a red seal sitting on the table in the Azure Lane opening, and I was like, Wait a minute. That's not going to be a thing, right? Turns out it wasn't, but imagine if it was, am I right? Oh god, the people in the community would absolutely lose their minds. It's not even an anime sword fighter, some anime gotcha girl. <laughs> uh, if I go back in time, I would change history so that that happens the one thing that is worth disrupting the course of history over. Just, just a little bit longer until the show starts. Kind of funny if it just gets, like, cancelled. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Mm. Ratings pending to mature seventeen plus. Which states that other information provided in this video are subject change. That's a bit loud. We live on the continent of Elios. Hmm. Four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the fell dragon. <gasps> we called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us. Heroes known as emblems. That's... With them, the warriors of our nation... That's Fire Emblem. Won. In the end, we were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the fell dragon. <laughs> in the years since, our world has been safe. But now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. Wait a minute. She was real? <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. Those leaks from six months ago. <laughs> I'm never doubting my uncle who works at Nintendo ever again. <laughs> Yo, wait, is I gotta make a tweet about this? <laughs> And you get <laughs> Wow, they were right about literally everything. 
Toothpaste shine, you can call upon heroes from other worlds. Fire Emblem engage. Yeah. A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep. What are those horrible things? If I may, you are a divine dragon. A member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. The war. The fell dragon. I feel like I can almost remember. But... I've had my eye on you. The ring. Marth, right. Oh my god, you can also call <laughs> Sigurd, leave it to me. <laughs> it is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. <laughs> the time has come. Now, as one, emblem, engage. Oh my god. Your strength. So, like, uh, she asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. I also love the design of the dragon, it's like a cobra frill. That's awesome! Holy shit, the leaks were. January 20th, 2023. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm I can't Kizu, believe it. And I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Let's play for half a second and grab a drink. I'll run. Don't worry. What you just saw was the latest installment of the Fire Emblem series, Fire Emblem Engage. In addition to the standard version, we'll also be releasing the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition, containing collectible items. Please look forward to more I love that poster. This game in the future. <laughs> I can't believe a new Let's fire emblem. Fucking Toothpaste John was right. It takes two to tango. Oh god, it takes two. Cody and May's relationship is on the rocks. But it gets even tougher when they're turned into dolls. To get their bodies back, they'll brave an onslaught of challenges where working together is the only way forward. Now that's really the plot of It Takes Two. You gotta fix your broken marriage. And I see all the beams of why people streaming jokes were getting a divorce. Venture through fantastical worlds filled with challenging experiences around every corner. In addition to single system play, the game can also be played on two systems via local wireless or online with a pal via the free friends pass. Oh god, I should Help play this with Rage Cage on normal. stream. With a partner, Learn to hate her. It takes two launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 4th. November 4th. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. Forbidden story begins. Fatal frame. After yep. mysteriously vanishing as a child, Ruka Minazuki visits an abandoned hospital in search of her lost memories. Use the camera obscura mm -hmm. to repel evil spirits and uncover the memories that were sealed away. A dark curse looms near. What ancient rituals will be revealed? Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse launches for the first time in the West on Nintendo Switch next year. There's a new hero who looks mechanical? Introducing Wave 2 of the oh, Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles, Chronicles 3 expansion pass for the Xenoblade Chronicles mm. 3 game. This is Eno, a new hero. She appears to be, uh, mechanical? Complete her quest to have her join your party. Expanding your options for classes and battle strategies. Challenge battles will also be added. 
Test your metal in consecutive battles against tough enemies. Defeat all enemy waves to earn rewards. I still haven't even played Genome Blade Chronicles 2. I mean, I want to. Accessories and special outfits. More hero and gameplay additions will arrive in Wave 3. Wave 2 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Expansion Pass launches on Nintendo Switch October 13th. Get drawn into these Nintendo Switch games. Nautical nonsense begins when SpongeBob and Patrick make a wish that unravels the very fabric of the universe. In this 3D platforming adventure, you'll travel through portals to seven outlandish wish worlds, like prehistoric kelp forest and wild west jellyfish fields. Explore using all sorts of wacky moves, don over 30 fantastic cosmic costumes, and meet your favorite Bikini Bottom residents from the TV series, voiced by their original actors. Soak up SpongeBob SquarePants, the Cosmic Shake, launching on Nintendo Switch next year. Hmm. That's a nice juxtaposition. Oh, Fist of the North Star. Box with familiar characters from Fist of the North Star. It's a fitness game. Fist of the North Star fitness game. Fist of the North Star fitness game. In battle mode. <laughs> or take on I'm going to pick that up to see if I can finally learn the Hakio Koseikin. In this hilariously hard hitting party game, embrace the absurdity of frantic minigames, each one featuring ridiculous rules in madcap arenas. Customize your character from head to toe with hundreds of accessories. Plus, challenge up to six friends and frenemies in local and online play. They won't even know what hit them. Oddballers launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. A small box washes ashore on a ruined island. Brave the unknown in this isometric action adventure game. Your only clue here is the manual. Traverse the island's interconnected realms to retrieve its missing pages. Dangerous traps and even more dangerous monsters lurk around every corner. What long lost secrets will the island reveal? Tunic launches on the Nintendo Switch system September 27th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. New Intel has arrived for these Front Mission remakes. Is that Armor Core? Full remakes of two Front Mission games are storming in. Now. In Front Mission 1 Remake, you'll pilot giant machines called Bonzers in tactical turn based combat. As you progress, you'll obtain skills that can help you gain the upper hand against opponents. You can also test your metal at the Coliseum. Some pals are having a lot of fun being glitchy. In the sequel, previously unreleased outside of Japan, take advantage of additional features like more terrain effects, weapon and armor attributes, and over 80 new skills added from the first game. Front Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Front Mission 2 Remake will launch on Nintendo Switch next year. And in the future, a remake of Front Mission 3 will also launch on Nintendo Switch. That's kind of cool. It's a wonderful life for a new generation. Another farming sim? After nearly 20 years, a beloved farming experience is reborn. New story Welcome season back game. To Forgotten Valley. Here, you'll manage a farm passed down to you by your father. Hmm? Restore and expand your farm as you nurture crops. Care <laughs> for your friendly animals and help the land flourish. Befriend the townsfolk while you're out and about in the valley. You might even meet your future partner and start a family. In this installment, those around you will grow older as time goes on. Their appearances will change over the years. Your child will also oh choose their God, career that's based on weird. how you raise them. That's trippy, man. An especially wonderful farm life in Forgotten Valley lies ahead.
story of seasons. A Wonderful Life launches on Nintendo Switch, summer 2023. Yay. Splatoon? Splatfest. The first post-launch Splatfest for Splatoon 3 has been confirmed. Here's the theme. What would you bring to a deserted island? Gear, grub, or fun? Oh wait, Splatoon 3 has three player or three team games? I actually didn't know that. So I desperately need to pick up Splatoon 3. Which team will you join? I mean I don't have Nintendo Online anymore, so what good does it do me? More free updates are planned for Splatoon 3. Be on the lookout for more info in the future. <laughs> Smug guy. So, Squids, what did you think? What would you bring to a deserted island? As for me, I've already decided. I hope you'll all participate as well. Next, please take a look at this. Square Enix. Square Enix. New Final Fantasy? That was a little bit familiar. I just don't remember. From... Oh, it's... Octopath Traveler 2. Introducing a brand new game in the Octopath Traveler series. Eight new travelers embark on a journey through the land of Celestia. With that, we could realize a world without conflict. I love these names. I'm going to become a star and bring smiles to people's faces, just like Mama. I'm hitting the road. I'll be back once I eliminate that devil called poverty from the world. The man who took everything from me shall die by my hand. Not again. Not the stench. The stench of blood. <laughs> Doubt is what I do. Leave the hunting to me. We'll have all the tasty meat you want. I need to rediscover who I am. Explore a wide world set in a bustling era. Each traveler's path action differs between day and night. Yeah. Our Lord knows well the ways of the world. What will happen when their paths intertwine? What's that big realm? What's that telling us? What adventures await them in this new world? I think I found the source. Job, huh? The eight travelers each have their own story to tell. Where will their journeys lead them and you? Octopath Traveler 2 launches on Nintendo Switch February 24, 2023. Nice. What you just saw was Octopath Traveler 2 from Square Enix. Please look forward to the journeys of eight new heroes. Let's see some more headlines. I'm always a fan of more. A magical home is waiting for you. Welcome to your new fairy tale life in Fay Farm. Cultivate your homestead and forge everlasting friendships in this farm simulation RPG. Discover magical spells to grow crops. Face oh, it's off just, against mischievous foes. It's just Rune Factory. And explore the enchanted realms of Azoria. This game is Along just way, Rune Factory. A lively cast of characters no, it's a game with their called Fae Farm, but it pretty much plays pro, like Rune team Factory. Solo, or I mean, multiplayer, we'll which is cool. In local or online multiplayer. By gathering resources and crafting items, you'll be able to customize your home and enjoy this mesmerizing adventure yeah. even more. <laughs> As the seasons change, new spellbinding surprises can be unlocked that'll help you restore yeah. Azoria to its natural splendor. 
Magic awaits in Fay Farm. Launching exclusively on Nintendo Switch, Spring 2023. It's a musical blast from the past. Is that Tomodachi Celebrate Life? Celebrate the 35th anniversary of the Final Fantasy series with the latest theater rhythm game. Not even fucking close. Enjoy iconic songs like One Winged Angel. Torn from the Heavens. Suteki Dane and more. There are 385 songs total. Songs are categorized by game. <laughs> so in chat go at Friday Night Funk and be like, shut music. up. In addition, two players locally can complete stages in pair style, while up to four players can battle to the beat in online multi-battle. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line begins its symphony on the Nintendo Switch system February 16th, 2023. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. After the game's launch, pay DLC songs from the Saga series. Near series. Octopath Traveler. Live Alive and more will be released. That's 90 additional songs. Plus, additions containing a season pass <laughs> and 27 <laughs> extra songs. That said Megalomania. Can you guess what I thought it said? <laughs> a cosmic adventure is just around the corner. Mario? Blast off on an adventure of galactic proportions with Mario Not exactly. and the rabbits. Let's dive into exploration. Freely roam through all sorts of wondrous worlds, each one jam-packed with discoveries. Find coins. Unlock hidden paths. And help out the locals with their troubles. shops you can get items that'll come in handy during battles after each quest or battle your team will earn rewards and get stronger sparks are here to lend a helping hand recruit up to 30 different sparks each with their own special powers and skills they can help spark a decisive victory man chat is not very nice <laughs> can mario and the rabbits put an end to the darkness Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A gold edition can also be pre-ordered, containing the base game, weapon skins, and a season pass. Mm. Restore peace between humans and monsters. That's Rune Factory. Rune Factory 3 returns on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Rune Take Factory 3 special to chat with the locals, cultivate crops and care for monsters among other relaxing activities. You can also transform into a monster. Your abilities in battle and conversations with the locals will vary depending on your form. Your choices will also cause different events to occur. Plus, a brand new mode has been added to help you enjoy more quality time with your in-game spouse. Rune Factory 3 Special launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Rune Factory. Plus, a new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. A new Rune Factory series of development? More Nintendo 64 games are on the way. More games for the... Wings 64. Who cares? Mario Party. I don't feel like being mean because, like, these ports are never very Mario good. Party two. Mario Party 3. Pokemon What's Stadium. Oh, Pokemon Stadium. I mean, I know I just said I don't really Pokemon care, but, like, two. A. 1080 Snowboarding. 1080 Snowboarding. Excite Bike 64. These games will gradually be added in the future. You can play a selection of Nintendo 64 games and enjoy many more gaming benefits with an active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Oh yeah, you need and the expansion one pack. More game we should mention. Hmm? Metroid 
fight now. What? Are you? Oh, Goldeneye! <laughs> With online play. <laughs> Ah, uh, that takes back. Why not mix things up with these Nintendo Switch games? I saw the like Live screw attack in the top left. The that was super excited. In this immersive RPG. Perform over 100 types of daily tasks to build character and deepen your relationships with the locals. I was so in excited. So, you'll gain access to different job classes. Yeah, and about and Metroid. Pro but like Metroid Prime was on the GameCube, not the N64. And it goes to show how like Nintendo young Switch I am. Today. A malfunction causes you to crash land on a strange planet. Build a new rocket from scratch in this management sim game. Scour the planet for materials. Then build machines to refine them into various resources. Eventually, you'll construct multiple production lines like these. Crashed on an creatures will attack. Crashed on an alien planet. Time to bring it consumerism. Nintendo Switch, October 28th. A young girl named Ib visits an art museum with her parents in this 2D exploration adventure. She wanders through a busy gallery for the Switch. Until one particular piece draws her in. Will she be able to safely return to her own world? Every decision affects her fate in IB. Launching on Nintendo Switch Spring 2023. Mario Strikers Battle League, where eight players locally on one system can get gritty, is getting a second free update. Joining the roster are Pauline, a physical powerhouse with fast movements and strong tackles. And Diddy Kong. A midfield speedster with dazzling techniques and high pass accuracy. Plus, more gear and another stadium are being added. The second free update launches this month. The final summer begins. Uh, when strange islands I'll tell you the rise rise of three sail to investigate in order to protect I haven't even played one danger. dude sprawling landscape set the I've never had adventure. the time freely explore this vast world and forge your own path in this charming RPG 11 heroes from all walks of life will join your party during battle, work with your allies to activate various skills, which can be swapped out when needed. Teamwork is paramount after all. New features are also in store. The keys to this lively adventure are in your hands. Atelier Rise of Three, Alchemist of the End, oh. and the Secret Key launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, 2023. French is hard. Three is on the way. Here's a sneak peek at two courses <sighs> racing into wave Skip. three. Mary Mountain from Mario Kart Tour. Peach Gardens from Mario Kart DS. Nice subtitles. Wave 3 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game launches this holiday. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. How was that? Next, we have some news to share about Nintendo Switch Sports. Ooh, news about Switch Sports. In the next free update, golf will be added. Woo, golf! Now the game was worth picking up. 
Try one holes for the Wii Sports series included. Locally. Additionally, up to eight players online can play at the same time on the same course in survival golf. Survival golf? Will be out. <laughs> survival golf. If you get a bogey, you die on the spot. However, we'd like a bit Suffer a fatal heart attack so being bad at golf. For this holiday. Please wait just a little longer. Next, we have a special guest. Mr. Miyamoto! No worries. Oh, Miyamoto's Hello. here. It's been a while. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. Oh wait, this is about the Mario movie, isn't it? I have a few things I'd like to share with you today, including some news. First, as you may have heard, the Super Mario Brothers animated movie we're yep. developing with Chris Melodandri from Illumination will release next spring. Yep. And Super Nintendo World, which is entering its second year at Universal Studios Japan, will also open in Hollywood, California, in the U.S. Well, that's kind of cool. Recently, we've been working on the finishing touches for both. Wait a minute, did the party movie get delayed? Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Pikmin. Pikmin 4? It's been over 20 years since the first game, and we're still working on the series. Pikmin 4? This is Pikmin Bloom. It's a smart device game we started with Niantic late last year, mm -hmm. in which players all over the world are planting flowers. Here's a quick rundown of the game for those who have yet to play it. Pikmin Bloom is a smart device game that uses your location. By walking outside, you can find Pikmin, raise them, and plant flowers together. <sighs> I want Pikmin 4. You can look back at the end of the day and see where you walked. Send out Pikmin and collect the items they found that day. And feed them nectar to increase their petals. So how many steps did we take today? While you're out and about, you can also use the AR feature to take photos with Pikmin. Pikmin are all around you. Let's take a quick look at my screen. I have nearly 700 Pikmin. They love nectar. If you give Hi, Pikmin Steve. nectar like you see here, their flowers will bloom. You'll also see the number of steps you've taken that day. Regarding the map, the clouds will clear along the path you walk, so you can keep a record of locations you've visited. I normally move around within Kyoto, but I've also been going to Osaka, to Universal Studios Japan. I occasionally go to Tokyo as well. You'll say to yourself, okay, this time I'll try walking here. It makes trips and walks a lot of fun. It's a very easygoing play experience you can enjoy just by taking it with you. I hope I you try it out. For... Okay, now to the main event. Please take a look at this. Is there still hope? Pikmin 4! It actually happened! <laughs> That's right! Pikmin 4 will launch in 2023. We won't be showing any gameplay today. However, you'll be able to play like this. From the Pikmin's perspective near the ground. Wow, we are short. I also made a new t-shirt. Nintendo Switch has made controlling the game simpler, meaning you can further concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. We call it Dandori in Japanese, or strategically planning, deploying, and commanding the Pikmin. I hope you're all looking forward to Pikmin 4. Thank you, Mr. Koizumi. Thank you very much, Mr. Miyamoto. Now, let's move on to some more headlines. Pikmin 4. Take your dancing game to the next level. Just dance! What like copyright claim for any of this?
playing, but just because it's just dance 2023, I'm gonna be pissed off. Oh, am I actually gonna get struck? Fuck. Oh god, that's terrible. Can you survive the season of death? You're kidding me. As you cultivate a peaceful farm life in the village of Lethe, there have been so the many farming simulators. Continuously returns, threatening to destroy all. Travel the world and find a way to put an end to the calamity in this life simulation RPG. Along the way, allies with different motives will join your cause. While facing numerous dangers, you'll begin to uncover the truth of this ill-fated world. After this presentation, a demo containing the opening days of your farm's first season will be available on Nintendo eShop. Save data can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Harvestella launches on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Get ready for a devilishly good time. Oh, more Bayo 3 information. After 500 years, Umbra Witch Bayonetta was revived in the present day. In Not a big fan of her hair. Game, she clashed with angels to recover her lost memories. And in the second, confronted demons to save her best friend. Now, in this third installment, She'll fight to protect the world from the sudden invasion of man-made bioweapons called homunculi. Is that the plot of Full Metal Alchemist? Don't worry. I know this song by heart. She's gone from fighting for herself, to fighting for others, to fighting for the world. Those who have overcome their past histories with Bayonetta to fight alongside her include the journalist Luca. And another Umbra witch, Jean. New ally Viola also joins in on the action. A hair raising, demon summoning, globe trotting adventure awaits in Bayonetta 3, launching on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. After today's Nintendo Direct, a new trailer delving more into gameplay will launch on our official YouTube channel. A dark fantasy mystery abounds from the creators of Danganronpa. What's this? Welcome to the city of perpetual rain. Many cases remain unsolved in this corporate controlled metropolis. Those who investigate are called master detectives who come from all around the world. Mm. What? Meet Yuma, an amnesiac detective. <laughs> and Shinigami, the spirit haunting him after their pact. Shinigami? Dive into these unsolved cases. That's a very broad name. The detective agency. Tower. Thoroughly inspect each crime scene to gather clues and evidence. When you're ready, Shinigami will conjure a realm tying the crime scene to the truth. A mystery labyrinth. Overcome obstacles and manifestations this is just of mystery persona. to edge closer to the actual events. However, mystery phantoms will attempt to hinder your progress during each case. Avoid their barrage of falsehoods and slash through contradictions. Uncover the secrets of Master Detective Archives Rain Code, launching first on the Nintendo Switch system spring 2023. Enter the village if you dare. Oh, a uh, Resident Evil 8 port. The latest installment in the Resident Evil series is coming to Nintendo Switch as a cloud version. Ethan Winters must face the horrors of the village and its four fearsome lords to rescue his abducted daughter. Resident Evil Village Cloud launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. You can download and try out the free demo today on Nintendo eShop to pre-order the full game. The Winters Expansion DLC containing a new third-person mode 
additional story content, and more will launch December 2nd. Yeah, the DLC. Additionally, <coughs> three other recent entries in the Resident, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 2, on Nintendo Switch, and Resident and Evil 3. Ah, oh, yes, my favorite trilogy, 2, 3, 7. Don't even have time for checking this. It's an action packed lineup of Nintendo Switch games. What's going to be like their final reveal for the direct? Foes to avenge your father in this kung fu action brawler. Next to pedals. Tripping and parrying opponents. You'll break their stance and gain the upper hand. This is just Sekiro. Fall in combat and you'll get older and weaker. In turn, however, you'll learn new techniques to complete your mission. Can you exact revenge before your time runs out? Sifu pummels its way onto Nintendo Switch November 8th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Experience the events leading up to Final Fantasy VII in this exhilarating action RPG. Zack Fair is a young and ambitious soldier operative aspiring to become a hero. Together with Sephiroth and Cloud, <laughs> He investigates strange disappearances within his elite unit. I don't know why they killed me. This remaster features enhanced HD graphics, an updated combat system, and new soundtrack arrangements. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion launches on Nintendo Switch December 13th. The classic arcade shoot 'em up Radiant Silver Gun is coming to Nintendo Switch. Fire different types of weapons to take down waves of enemies. Defeat multiple enemies of the same color for a chain bonus, or take down differently colored ones for a secret bonus. Rack up these bonuses for a high score. Radiant Silver Gun launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Recruit a team of shipwrecked heroes and make your way out of a derelict space station in this roguelike game set in the endless universe. But it's not as easy as it sounds. You'll have to fend off continuous waves of monsters as you make your way through procedurally generated levels. Complete various mm. quests to unlock new heroes, weapons, station areas, and more. Up to three players in online co-op can attempt to escape their grim fate. Do you have what it takes? Endless Dungeon launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Looks like we're gonna have one last reveal. The journey of world regeneration begins anew. It's not going to be 40 minutes. It has been going. Tales of Symphonia is coming to Nintendo Switch. The world of Silverant is controlled by shadowy forces called Desiants. To stop them, a person known as the Chosen One by must the way, ascend nice the Tower of Salvation. I really hope that's true. Yeah. Lloyd soon embarks on a journey with Colette, the current Chosen One, and his childhood friend in this beloved action RPG. They'll meet allies along the way, like the wandering aristocrat, Zelos, and a lumberjack who lost her emotions after an experiment, Prisea. Other allies will also join the party. Nice subtitles. The fate of two interconnected worlds hangs in the balance. Tales of Symphonia Remastered begins its journey on Nintendo Switch early next year. Kirby. Oh, wait, that's Kirby's Return to Dreamland, Return isn't it? To Dreamland Deluxe is coming to Nintendo Switch. Return to Dreamland remake. One day, a spaceship crash lands on planet Popstar. 
To help Magalor return to his home planet, Kirby and his friends set off on an adventure. In addition to sword, whip, and other familiar copy abilities, the new mecha copy ability makes its debut. Good. Blast foes from a distance, or punch them up close. Gundam it's Kirby bottom text. Powerful moves as well. The game supports local play for up to four players on the same system. Plus, everyone God, can play as Kirby Cage and I would have while using their favorite copy abilities. There's also a collection of sub games to play. This includes the new sub game Magalore's Tome Trackers and returning ones like Samurai Kirby. All sub games can be played with up to four players. An adventure of deluxe proportions awaits. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, 2023. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Hell yeah. As part of Kirby's 30th anniversary, a remake of Kirby's Return to Dreamland will be released. We hope you're looking forward to this game. Thank you for watching today's Nintendo Direct. This next trailer will be our last announcement. Please take a look. All right, what's up? What's your last little trick for us today? Zelda? Advance Wars? Looks like I was right the first time. No news on Advance Wars, unfortunately. Yeah, that's Zelda. I'm 50 50 because I'm 50 50 on Breath of the Wild originally. So. I don't know. I'm not going to be too cynical. Same running animation. Same climb. That pretty far reminds you of the uh, Scour Sword. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <coughs> May 12th, 2023. Not a bad direct overall. Some cool stuff. New Fire Envelope, which I'm very hype about. So, uh, I guess this is where I leave. Bye.